Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of a Lad Books podcast. I'm so happy that you're here and I've got something very interesting and important to talk about, something that could help many. So let's get into it, shall we? Life is not a race nor a competition, but it is indeed a journey. Now, many would say that this journey is unpleasant, not very nice. Many would say that even very hard. But that's why our dear and beloved Jesus said in Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What a beautiful and divine thing to say. It's truly amazing how Jesus knew the heart of the people so profoundly. For he is divine awareness of being, which is God. And you know, many people would hear this and think to themselves, okay, it sounds very pretty and beautiful, but what, how am, how am I doing it? I mean, I feel it's not practical for me. How I take his yoke upon myself and learn from him. And it might seem very unpractical to unaware ears. But let me tell you, dear souls, it is the most practical thing ever. Because he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Learning what we call learning is basically reminding ourselves of what we already know and is is within us so when he says learn from me you need to choose to learn from him in order to remind yourself of everything that he has to offer you everything that he has to remind you now this life that we live in this journey it is an amazing and blessed journey here in the physical heaven. And many people find it cumbersome and difficult and full of sorrow and troubles and many unbeneficial experiences that not Jesus nor God our Father, blessed be their names. They do not desire any of this, really. I mean, why would any father would want his children to go through so much difficulty, especially the one who created them. You know, people think that if they just get more, if they just do more, then they would be satisfied, but it's not always that, it's not. It's being more that would bring the true change that we all deserve as a species. Because life shouldn't be a cumbersome and difficult journey. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't. And the reason that people born into this idea that life is hard and that's what we have and we need to deal with it and all these unaware and unbeneficial sayings that humanity has been raised uh, itself upon. It is not so. I promise you, dear souls. It is not so. And let me tell you this. The purpose of life is to love the Lord our God and make him proud of us as his children. To help and give to the best of our abilities to everyone around us. Because we are all in need of the same thing, which is love. And spreading God's love among and throughout all of creation is mankind's true purpose. For we've been created from pure and divine love. So it's only fair we'll give it back to everyone we can and to everyone who needs it. Kindly and with patience, as a dear and beautiful soul named Paul said in his first letter to the Corinthians. And know this, God wants the best for you. He truly does. He wants the best for you. So please choose 
to live from within your heart and soul, from within divine awareness. Because once you choose to be reborn from divine awareness, from his light, you will experience the best that he desires for you. For life never meant to be difficult and full of hardships and pain and sorrow. It never meant to be like this. It's simply humanity that is walking in blindness and darkness and lack of awareness and separateness that told everyone and made a reality that makes us feel this way. That there is no hope, that God is not with us, that we're just living here in in sorrows and pain and why we need all this. This is not true. This is not the reality that God desires for us. He wants the best for us, period. And if you, you do not live the best life experience that you think you deserve and you deserve, then it's not over. It's never over. I have three things to tell you, dear soul, no matter where you are in the world right now. First of all, have faith. Second of all, put your life and your trust and your everything in God. And thirdly, think positively. And I promise you, once you do this, you see how everything changes. Because God our Father is faithful. And He listens to prayer. Him and Jesus, blessed be their names. So know that you're never alone in this life journey we call life. <laughs> God is always with you. And His angels are looking after you. Whether you are aware of it or not, it is true, I promise you. Be blessed, dear soul. Be blessed. And know that God is always with you. Amen.